The new tensions in Gaza have raised the grim prospect of an end to the Egyptian broker truce that has stopped most Israeli-Palestinian violence in and around the impoverished seaside territory for five months. An Israeli air raid in northern Gaza killed a PRC fighter and seriously injured another who was later pronounced clinically dead. Israeli Army spokesman Avichai Adari said the explosion was a work accident, adding that Israeli forces did not operate in the area. The democratically elected Palestinian movement of Hamas said that Israel will pay a heavy price for its violations against the Palestinians. It also said that continued talks and security cooperation between Israel and Mahmoud Abbas's Palestinian Authority in the West Bank give Israel immunity from international criticism for the crimes it perpetrates against the Palestinians in Gaza. There are daily civil Commission great violations to the Quran. The civil Commission government must pay the price of this violence and terrorism and violations. The Egyptian broker truce that was agreed in June stipulates the reopening of border crossings in the Gaza Strip where over 1.5 million people have been suffering under almost 18 months of stifling Israeli embargo. Human rights activists have warned of an impending humanitarian disaster due to the closure of border crossings for 12 days and the UN agency's inability to provide aid to the besieged and impoverished population of this tiny coastal enclave, most of whom depend on food aid. UN aid workers turned away thousands of Gaza residents from UN distribution centers because they had run out of supplies. We demand the uh, urgent uh, international inter intervention uh, to stop the Israeli practice and violation against the Palestinians. The truce showed signs of fraying last week when six Palestinians in the Gaza Strip were killed during Israeli military operations. Palestinian resistance fighters responded by firing homemade rockets into Israel. Analysts say that Israel has never been interested in peace. Israel has never ever been interested in peace. Israel wants to impose its own story. Unfortunately, there is a collusion and there is a collaboration between some Arab regimes and Israel in order to uh, destroy the Palestinian people. The Gaza Strip has been suffering for the last 18 months, but in recent days, power outages and lack of fuel have brought life to a standstill in the impoverished seaside territory. Gazans are bracing themselves for the wars to come as the truce between Hamas and Israel draws to an end. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.